cold and wet and rainy outside, so I decided to tear this thing down and see what's going on, on the inside. I might uh, put some thinner gaskets in or drill the holes bigger or something. I don't know. We'll have to see what's in there. You can see one of the things I did is I threaded the wires inside these bolts. Uh, that made it good so that the wires aren't all flopping around, but it was pretty cumbersome to do that. So I'm going to have to tear it apart really to get the wires out. So uh, I'll get back to you. Just before I open it up, I'm going to take all the bolts out and stuff. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. Um, I, I tore this down once and videoed it with the camera on the tripod and you really couldn't see anything. So I'm going to do it by hand, handheld. See, here's the first plate, and that's right there is where the electrolyte comes in. Made a little brown spot, I'm sort of curious. And you can see where the electrolyte comes out, made also another brown spot. So, now here's the positive side. You can see here where the uh, flap gasket is, the Mars gasket. That hole is close, being covered up. And up here, you've got a definite line where there was probably bubbles. Now, right here, though, where it, the, it looks like there might have been an electrolyte coming all the way up to the top and flowing over the top. I think that the reason that might be is because um, some of my holes were blocked or partially blocked. Okay, so that goes that way. On the neutral side, there's not much to see here. Here's the flat gasket. Now you can see over here though, see my hole is partly covered. So I'm not getting a good flow in there. I'm going to have to redo that somehow. Turn this one over. See we have quite a bit of discoloration. Here's where the water comes in under there. There doesn't seem to be much leakage. I'm not sure what evidence you'd need for leakage though. Now this is strange. This strange line coming up here across the top and down. Uh, here's a sliver of plastic that needs to be trimmed off. But this has a nice uh, cavity here for the where the HHO gas was. Um, looks like I might have had two different levels here at one time. Maybe one that had a higher concentration while I was getting more production, maybe it pushed that down. I don't know. Uh, you guys that have torn a lot more apart than me can probably tell me what's going on. Here's the neutral side. Once again, see we got the, the holes partially covered. That's not good. Scratches. That scratches from when I uh, deburred it. Nothing much to see there. Once again, see the hole is partially covered. It's sort of hard to see, but that hole is mostly covered. So this one probably was running dry. That's why there's a line all the way down here at least part of the time. When it was running really low amps, the level probably came up to here. When I was trying to produce, then it just filled up with bubbles. At least that's my guess. You can see there's a big bubble line here. Okay, nothing to see on the other side. Now we get to the solid middle plate. So everything on the other side is circulating the other way. And it's hard to do one handed. Alright, so here's the positive side. Once again, we have two clear lines. Looks like we're getting a, a mark right where the, the bubbles escape at the top. Maybe there's. Um, voltage leakage there. It might benefit from having the Mars gasket on the top and the bottom. And here's the neutral side. Nice and clean. Over to this side. The 
see what that hole looks like there. Now that hole is not blocked, but we still have that line in the middle where there's two distinct levels. All right, here's another piece of gasket that needs to be cleaned up. All right, what is going on there? I wonder if that was from, might have been a burn mark from when I ground it, but it does look like something might have been leaking there. I think when the, the cell is leaking, I think it's leaking in, in these places here where the divots are on the side, because the, the sandwich boards are going to put more pressure on the edge and leave that open a little bit, I think. The sandwich board will put more pressure on the edges. So I need a flatter sandwich board. My sandwich board is giving too much. Okay, let me turn that back over and see if the, that, hole, that hole is not blocked. That's good. I've got a big discoloration here. I don't know what's going on. You see a, a bubble line at the top. This is closer to the outside, so it's probably getting more electrolyte. Okay, nothing to see there really. Okay, well that's the teardown. You guys are welcome to give me your two cents and I'm on this coat, uh, the patterns, and tell me what's going on. I definitely have holes blocked. That's got to be fixed. I think possibly if I unblock, if I make sure all those holes are open, um, I might be get get good enough flow of the electrolyte. Um, at the very least, I need to put bigger tubes on the top. I've got those little 532nd tubes. I think I'll put raise those up to 3 8 I could also drill that hole out or drill more holes. I hate to make too many changes at once, though. So I want to I use thinner gaskets. So I want to go down to about 16 thousandths and use a weaker electrolyte. So I'll be making a, I'm violating the one of the primary rules of experimentation, and that is don't make more than one change at a time. All right, that's it for now.